Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another site review. I'm here in Crescenta, California. It's just a, a little bit north of Pasadena on Interstate 210 and uh, it's a Vaughn's parking lot. It's an Electrify America site. This is I think one of their more like their urban implementations, the ones that are designed more to support city centers. Uh, it makes sense, it's located at a grocery store, uh, but this one is a little bit different than some of the other Electrify America sites that I've shown. Instead of the standard ABB that are mostly in my region, these ones are actually BTC power units. Um, but the other thing that also makes this a, a little bit unique is this isn't like their 50 kilowatt city chargers, but it's also not like their highway ones where, like I said, it has 350. These are all 150 kilowatt CCS chargers. There are three of them, and then one of them has a 50 kilowatt Chatamo head. But there's also one more uh, cool feature about this site is it does have a level two AC charger. It's just one head. So they do have a J1772. So technically any vehicles can charge here, uh, any, any EVs. So it's got all of those bases covered. You know, let's just dive right into the site score. So for accessibility, I'm giving this site an eight out of 10 and it's getting an eight out of 10. It's a little bit far off the freeway and the chargers don't allow you to access them from both sides of you know the parking space and there's no full pull through parking so uh, you know those limitations knock a couple of points off so for access it's only getting an 8 out of 10. Now in terms of amenities you know there's a grocery store here but you know there are a few other stores just within a quick walking distance but it's nothing special. I'm giving it 8 out of 10 for amenities. You can get what you need but you're, you don't have a solar uh, canopy over the chargers or over the vehicles and you know there's not going to be a lot of choices in terms of sit down restaurants, roadside services but that's really not what this site is for. This site is really more to support, I think, urban dwellers, which is why it's at a grocery store. So you have some amenities, they're just not amazing. So uh, it's only getting an eight out of 10 for amenities. Now in terms of site concentration, normally with three DC fast chargers, uh, I would just consider that an average site and it would give it a five out of 10, but I'm actually giving it a six out of 10. And what's notching that up is that J1772. I don't really know how to grade it, but I figure I'd round up rather than rounding down in this case, because, well, I think it needs to get credit for the fact that there is technically a fourth charger here and that charger can support any electric vehicle. So uh, for site concentration, I am going to give it a six out of 10. Now, in terms of location, this isn't anything special. You are going to see more EVs per capita, but you're also going to see more access to charging at work, at home because you're going to have an actual driveway or actual garage. So it's not as crucial to support this community in this way. And this is a little bit off the freeway and that Interstate 210, it's sort of a side corridor anyway. It's not necessarily a main corridor and there's a lot of other charging in the area. So this is only gonna get a seven out of 10 in terms of location because I mean, it's nice to have and it's good to see, but it's just not that important. And in terms of speed, I'm going to give it a solid nine out of 10. Typically, Electrify America would get a 10 out of 10 with their 350 kilowatt charging, but these are only 150 kilowatt. I say only 150 kilowatt, but that's really as fast as any vehicle except for the Porsche Taycan can charge at. So these really are supporting the fastest vehicles on the road right now. So there's no reason to really look down on 150 kilowatts in terms of speed, but uh, it isn't as fast as some of the upcoming vehicles, like I said, like the Porsche Taycan and some others in the future. And so maybe in terms of being future proof, right? But then again, 150 kilowatts is also appropriate for this site because you are going to come in and shop for 30 to 45 minutes and then leave. So uh, having a 350 kilowatt charger that can charge you up in 15 to 20 minutes maybe is unnecessary. So either way though, this is just a notch below the best of the best. So I'm giving it a nine out of 10 for speed. 
So as far as the total site score is concerned, it gets a 38 out of 50, which is a solid C. Uh, I'd really like to see a few other things maybe added to this, just in terms of maybe additional chargers, some sort of a, a solar canopy to cover the chargers. But otherwise, this is a solid site and uh, I'm glad that it's here. Uh, it'll be useful for those people who are maybe coming over the uh, Tehachapi's and they're not heading into LA proper, but maybe the Inland Empire. So this gives you a, a chance to sort of bypass. If you live in this sort of area around here uh, and you don't have charging at home or maybe your charging at home isn't available, this is a great backup. You can go do grocery shopping and charge up. So overall, I'm happy to see it. BTC power units, great to see, you know, some diversity in the type of hardware that Electrify America is using. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, helps me do these site reviews, and uh, thank you for watching.